what's up Yoon fam, it is I, Mark Yoon, and today I'm bringing another hopefully exciting video. So what I got for you today is my final conclusions, or what I would like to call as my review for Huang Sung Young, DLC 13, and uh, we'll throw in bits and pieces of DLC 14 if we want, but uh, for now we just want to cover Huang, and um, I have to say off the bat that the character took a little bit more getting used to than I anticipated that he would. Now, this is mainly um, due to the talisman usage that he has, because you have to do a lot of uh, setups for that kind of stuff. Um, if you're going to jump right into battle and just use your sword attacks and your kicks, then by all means go ahead and you won't have to really worry about too much about this part. But if you are planning on using the talismans to either buff or buff yourself or um, gain an advantage over your opponent, you're going to have to worry about this. So a lot of them are usually uh, back and square and triangle, or down and square and triangle, something like that. Just a combination to get like into a certain stance that actually gives you the abilities of certain uh, talisman. You can use uh, like energy to elongate your sword and use it in a whip-like fashion, similar to how Ivy uses her blade. You can also cause um, lightning or thunder to come down and strike your opponent in close range. You can kick the ground and shoot a, a form of energy that stuns them for a second and also causes damage. There's a bunch of uh, talisman usages that you can actually do, especially like the talisman of Iron Will. Keep in mind, however, that if you do decide to use talisman, it will negatively affect you in the next round. So at the beginning of the next round, depending on your number count over your yin yang symbol up at the top left hand corner, or whatever side of the screen that you're on underneath of your character's name and HP bar, you will see a number slightly rise. Like as on the screen now, you can see four. Um, that determines the, the percentage amount of your health that's going to actually be taken away uh, at the start of the next round. So you might see that in a couple of these matches where Huang starts off in the match with actually less health than he started with and that's because of uh, heavy talisman usage in the prior round before. It's not really that much of a difference to me because he is uh, strong enough to be able to handle and counter attack that. Um, I think it's there for a reason. He would be OP if you could just use the talismans uh, willy-nilly without any repercussions. So it is a, there for a balance factor, so competitive players will be happy about that. Now moving on to his regular basic attacks. Um, he is pretty quick, uh, especially if you want to do lead-ups with his sword to get in close by using some kick variations. I tend to do the uh, forward hold forward dash kick um, in sequential order just so you can get that first hit in there and then you can follow it up with an up, uh, an up kick which will actually turn into a spin, um, kind of like almost like a hurricane kick and will knock the opponent down. So there's a lot of good uh, setups for different combinations that you can use. And obviously his moveset's going to be greatly expanded upon if you actually utilize his soul charge as opposed to his critical edge, as I usually tend to do. Um, his grabs are nice. He has a couple of them that incorporate kicks. He's got one where he throws you to the ground and throws his sword up in the air and it comes down and lands in you. That's pretty fun to use. But um, if you're trying to play keep away with this character, he does have some kind of uh, keep away tactics. It's not many that you would expect. It's mostly talisman usage stuff that you would have to worry about. Um, like if you're trying to combo in a person and you're worrying about his hitbox being too close to you, you're going to get struck with lightning or something like that if there's somebody that's heavily using their, um, their talismans. But that is, like I said, it takes away their health in the next round, so it does punish them a bit. He has really good um, standing start attacks where if you're actually going to start from a standing position, you can... Um, you can either juggle the opponent or you can initiate combo strings that'll actually last a long time. He's got really good combos. You can slightly juggle the opponent. You have to really obviously like all juggling rely on timing. Um, it's, it's a lot of work to get his direct timing down, but that's mainly just based on the fact his eight-way run is and people not being used to his actual movement speeds yet. The character moves very... Um, there's a, there's a lot of variety to his moves. If you're using the 8-way run system, um, his legs are not the only attack weapon that he is using. His sword is very well used a lot, uh, as well with his talisman and his magic. So you can get off a lot of good combinations with the character. I find him pretty balanced, actually. He can be used competitively. Um, I don't think it would be considered cheap to do so. He's got a lot of spinning circular attacks with his swords. Um, 
which also are super enhanced by his uh, soul uh, charges, like as you can see now, which is probably the predominantly way you should be using the character. I would I would say use those as opposed to using his um, his critical edge, but that goes with any character in my opinion for playstyle. I just I personally I like it better because it opens up a wide array of moves that you can actually uh, had closed off to before. Talisman usage should be kept to a minimum, I would say. You don't want to start off the next round with too much of a health disadvantage, but if you are confident in your ability to keep the character at bay, then by all means go ahead and use it. He does have a lot of uh, good jumping kick motions and uh, things of that nature. Um, I have noticed a couple counters, especially when you're doing his uh, just guards or your, uh, your over guards. So he's not really like uh, overpowered, like I see people saying, unless they're just super high level. He does have a lot of ability to ring an opponent out if you're close to the edge, so I'll watch out for that. Because he'll go from a standing kick down to a split kick like you just saw, and easily knock an opponent out of the ground, and it takes very few frames from to actually complete those movements. He is a very quick character, so that is something that you would have to look out for. His mids to highs are probably his best bet to go for. Um, they are the best to transition to, unless you want to start from a sweep kick or something of that nature, but it's a lot, it reduces frames if you're actually going to step down to sweep kick and to go up into a mid, then to a high, then it is to do a mid, high, then low. Because um, once you do a mid, then you have a high and the person's in the air. It's a lot easier to go down and use that frame while they're in the air to adjust for a low kick. So that's basically how I would prefer using the character. He does have some sort of short range energy burst that he can hit at you. Again, it's a talisman move. Um, but it is there, so be wary that if you're fighting against a Huang player, he can have a short burst of energy directed at you, and even though he might not be able to hit you with his sword, even without the extension, you can be sent flying with that attack. Um, other than that, the character is insanely fun to use. I mean, I love his critical edge, I love his movement speed. If I was going to rate the character, and this is, you gotta understand where I'm coming from if you are not familiar with my channel or you watch my channel in the past, I am a huge fan of Huang Sung Gyeong. He is my favorite cast character in the series. Um, those of you who know me know that Shura would probably take the place for number one, but as, as far as the actual cast, it would be Huang Sung Gyeong. Um, but I am going to rate this character at his iteration in Soul Calibur 6, probably an 8 out of 10. I think there are some things that they can do with the character to uh, enhance his playability a little bit more. I would like to see a little bit more uh, defensive capabilities with the talisman besides just offensive uh, tactics. It would be nice if we had like an evade or something of that nature. But um, that's obviously to each their own, like it depends on your playstyle with the character. He is going to become my new main, I'm going to force myself to main him so I will undoubtedly get good with him as soon as I can to give more information based on that and the review came this late just because I wanted to cover all of the new lore stuff that we were being inundated with and I really wanted to have my chance to have a while with the character mainly the whole weekend just so I can have a, a good idea of what I wanted to say about in this review instead of just going in without like only playing a couple rounds or something so I have played his entire story his soul chronicle I've played arcade mode with him multiple times uh, I've played multiple person people with him. Um, I've utilized a lot of his different talisman move sets just to see the disadvantages that you're coming with. And basically, I'd say that if you're a close range character, um, he would be very good for you to start using. So if you're a Talon character or somebody of that kin, I can see you easily getting used to him. Well, with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to a close. Thank you for watching and listening to this review. I hope you liked it, and if so, stick around the channel because there's more coming. There's always more uh, stuff coming, um, and I would like to make you a part of it. Also, in the description box down below, you can find my Discord, where we always have really good conversations about this kind of stuff, and you can give me video ideas and stuff like that, and uh, we'll just have a good time over there. Um, but with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to a close. As always, I love it. Thank you. And thank you.